If you have any doubt about where the greatest returns in real estate are consistently being generated, just take a look at some of the huge, shiny, new, mixed-use developments and residential towers going up around you. Here in Chicago, you see beautiful new multifamily and mixed-use properties going up all over town. From high-rises in Fulton Market and West Loop area to new condo projects and single-family homes uh, from Lincoln Park to Lincoln Square and everywhere in between, demand for well-designed, quality new construction properties continues to outpace the limited supply. Why? Well, new developments are being specced with ever higher levels of design, finishes, and technology that people really want. And the differences between quality new construction and older homes and multifamily buildings, it just becomes more strikingly apparent every day. Older homes and multifamily developments are becoming functionally obsolete at a faster rate than ever before. And updating them to new designs and specifications, it's expensive and it's often impractical since the results just don't compare well with a well-designed new construction project. To learn more about that, you can grab a copy of my new book, Don't Buy Multifamily, Build It. You can grab it on Amazon. Uh, but just as an example, on Chicago's north side, new construction single family homes continue to be in short supply. And for the last 10 years, in spite of consistent price increases, new homes continue to sell pretty much as soon as they're complete. Now, most people will look at the development business and realize that builders and developers must be making quite a bit of money. How else could they finance these big projects, right? But while it's true that new construction projects often create much greater returns than investing in older properties, that doesn't mean it's the best niche for you. So to learn more about risk in your real estate investments, watch this next video.